Well, hello everybody, John Wales here once again, and we are back in Reforged Eden. Uh, yeah, it looks kind of new, huh? Um, so I had a little bit of a problem with the last recording. The audio got all funky. It's kind of my fault. I should have checked it. Um, I've since then fixed it, but as you can see, we have a new ship. Yeah, we'll do a tour of that in a second. Um, but I want to thank you guys again for all your amazing support on both series, this one and the Valheim. I know when the new update drops for Reforged Eden, I will be doing two. Two, that's right. Two series. So you guys can check those out when they start dropping. So one of them is going to be on Spanja's server with the ASC faction, since I'm still a patron for um, Spanj. The other one's going to be on my own server, and I think we're going to do something interesting. Yeah, I think we're going to be aligning with the Xerax. I think that's going to be interesting. We're going to... I think there's a... Is there a Xerox mission line? Uh... Xerox Empire. Just their information, really? Um... Okay. And yes, there are attachment points on some POIs for future-proofing their story missions. That would be cool. Yeah, we're currently downloading some data out of here. Um... So what ended up happening in the last one is I went to a couple of relays, checked them out for damage. This is the one that was having the major problems. As you can see, the display is knocked over. And I had to kill a couple of pirates. No big deal. So yeah, we're going to continue on with... I have to check the computer core for tampering. Ooh. Give me one second while I remember, because I, I forgot the code for this door already, so I have to go look for the code. So give me a few minutes, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, and welcome back. I have thus got the code. There we go. So now we got to check the computer core for tampering. Looks like they haven't touched the core because they suck. Oh, they're going to try to get the door open. <laughs> Aren't usually much good at planning. Nope. Not this time I didn't. Put it in bypass to work around the damaged console. Uh, I'll certainly try. I'll need you to get in your ship and travel to the coordinates. Damage satellite that contains a key component that will hopefully guarantee that I don't get to read everything. Thanks! Ida, you're great! I'm not even pushing anything, like... Ugh. Yeah, Chief, I can fix it. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, I, I, I don't have control over sometimes how fast this stuff goes. I don't know why. Um, I don't even click anything on these, because I want you guys to be able to have the opportunity to read them. But yeah, it looks like you guys might have to just, like, pause so you can read what's going on. So, we're gonna... Sounds like we're gonna go to another relay station and get some components so she can fix this. And I'll be out of comms range. You might want to go to lunch or something. Okay, yeah, you can get pizza. Space pizza. Kid? Dude, I just wasted a whole crew of... Not far from your present location yet. It's probably like 50 kilometers away. So yeah, let's do a quick tour of... This is the ship I used last season. But as you can see, she's been textured and... Looks all schnazzy. She was called the Bloody Reaper last, uh, last season. Um, this season. I've since renamed her because there's a new Bloody Reaper. Um, so this is the RF, the Reforged LC Light Cruiser 2, means that it's made out of titanium or hardened steel, 59. The 5 is just my fifth attempt at this ship, and then the 9 is just a number I throw in there, so it rolls with the numbers, but it's now known as the Silver Serpent. Yeah, I've been kind of creative with some of my names, like the Bloody Reaper, Silver Serpent, uh, the Astro King. It's usually like two words, but oh yeah, a um, little bit of a tour. Uh, so there's the hangar. She was originally designed to be able to haul the Mercury Rising in her, but uh, 
It's also designed that like two people can use this ship at one time. So if you and a friend want to go somewhere and, and you just want to take one ship, just got the parking for it. Whoa, that was weird. Whee! Okay, so I have a nine plot here, a nine plot up there. Ugh. Come on, get me out the door. A nine on the bottom there and a nine up there. So I have it has 36 grow plots. I put all my seeds in here. Uh, some of these containers will have, I think this one's fuel, no, oxygen, weapons, pentaxid, spares. I did find some crew in the abandoned bunker. What a nasty freaking POI that is. Ugh. Because of those uh, infected soldiers. Oh man, they just like, you could wear the best armor in the game and they'll still burn through it. So here, yeah, I don't have a grab generator on here for some reason. But in there, you can see the fuel. Uh, originally, it just has six medium and some lag shot around them. So I said, screw it. I wanted more fuel because it runs out of fuel very, very fast. In here, you got two advanced generators, room for some regular generators if you stand them up. Over here, medical bay with the traditional blood on the floor. Yeah, because that's. What happens around here, apparently? Dining facility. Got some food. Ooh, put these berries away. One of them had berries on them. What do we get? We got a rifle upgrade kit and a shotgun upgrade kit. Oh, that's nice of them. Uh, but yeah, we... Uh, as you can see down here, too, yeah. Um, cheese, meat, and bread is all you need. Bread is grain and water. Because the grain will turn into flour, then you use the water to make bread. And then milk is just plant protein and water. Then you turn that into cheese and you just hunt stuff for meat. So I'm basically just farming these two. And yeah, make a lot of good food. But yeah, there's the dining facility. Why is the lights off or something? Why is it like weird? No, lights aren't off. It's just, I don't think I have a light in there actually. So over here, you have your regular cores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. So one more will fit there, and one more along the floor here for the advanced ones. And then across the little hallway here, get room for 10, because you're only allowed max of 10 auxiliary cords in here. So she is fully upgradable. And then up the elevator. Oop, I gotta go from the bottom, because it's got glass around it. She has room for a few quantums if you really want to. I'm thinking of uh, redesigning it too to be like uh, made out of combat steel, and then full, just fully upgrading that, and then redoing the the naysails on the back. So let's go up the elevator to the landing here. You can put some crew here. Uh, over here is engineering, where you can put some crew for engineering. Across the landing here, there's the captain's quarters. Thought I'd have that right next to the bridge. Uh, so here's the bridge. And then, as you can see, on her, she's got a couple of weapons up top. I believe she has four missile launchers, four laser guns, two cruise missile launchers. So I had to do a lot of off screen grinding getting some. A restroom in Zascosium. I did get a restroom on an asteroid. I had a class cutter, Kayavera class cutter, kind of just like hovering around. Finally, right when I was just about done, it got the little exclamation point and got aggroed on me. So, uh, yeah, up here on Relgeleth, on Joelor. Uh, I don't know why this thing doesn't tell you any information here, but on the planet, there's like 10 medium gold deposits. I'm thinking I'm gonna grab those before I find a place to put up a base. It's also got a bunch of small Zascosium. That's where I found my Zascosium for this guy. So yeah. All right, where are we going? Damaged satellite. Okay, 15 kilometers. Okay, I guess I'll see you guys when I get there because this is gonna take a few minutes. I don't think you guys wanna just see just this. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes.
Sorry guys, I just realized I had it off. There was um, a dog barking and I turned it off. I forgot to turn it back on. What is that? Press return to talk to the... Uh, okay. Oh, can't talk to it because it's dead. Okay. Is there even a core on this thing anymore? Like, there was no loot. Like, everything's destroyed. The only thing worth it are these things. Damn it. Well, you guys got to watch me at least destroy a Kyavera class cutter. Yeah, I was, uh, I basically said that, hmm, maybe I can get away from this guy, and then I realized, ooh, there's some loot right there. And then I realized, I was like, you know what? I got cruise missiles. Let's do this. So, yeah, there's some of this stuff, like, those rounds and a few other things were from the pirates that I killed on that last station. Oh, I can't believe I didn't turn my mic back on. Uh, okay, what do we get? Ooh. Okay, just some random blocks. Ooh, okay. It's odd loot, but yeah, there's really nothing left up there, so... That's what you get! Oh, that don't go in there, that goes in the other one. Uh, any more parts? No. Uh, weapons container, you get the ammo. <sighs> uh, Constructor container 2 has the blocks, so there's that. Oh, shoot, weapons. Oh wait, no, that goes in the sales one because I don't need it, because I have an advanced one. Although I don't have a regular one, so I'll keep a spare, I guess. Sales container. Yes, yeah, so we did a. I guess I could sell some of this stuff. Yeah, these are like extra one of these that I don't need. That's just stuff that I mined up. You can sell that stuff. Those, I believe, you sell to like food merchants. Those ones are mining merchants. I don't know who you sell the sulfur to. Uh, is it that one? No. Well, I, mean, I gotta get that one in. There, freezer one. Oh, that one has some water too. Cool. Then, nope. Lodge fridge, please. Thank you. Herbal tea. Okay, so there we go. So we took out the, the cutter. Cutter got ripped to shreds. <laughs> but as you saw, my, uh, my strategy kind of worked. So this thing doesn't... Oh, that's loud. So statistics, it... It's pitch, it's okay, but it's rollability is really good. So all I have to do is keep rolling and keep my turrets pointed towards that ship and they'll keep firing on it. So that's what she's really designed to do as a battle cruiser. Ooh, light battle cruiser, what the heck? Oh, so the freaking elevator blocks kind of like get you wonky. If you're, see how it looks up? Like, I don't need you to do that, dude. I'll see it when I get up there. Okay, so there's the cutter gone. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Yeah, I'm not really worried about that Warhound transport, damaged satellite. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Um, outrun the interceptors and reach relay 451. Why do I have to outrun them? I, I, oh. Yeah, I, d I don't need to outrun shit. <laughs> Except for the Dreadnought. Because this thing, I plan on putting two more cruise missiles on it. Um, some more weapons on it. Once I get enough stuff to upgrade it. I, do, I did spend all my money on... I think I bought like 30 of the small bridges. So I needed eight more for the the Duomajiggy, the advanced upgrade for this thing. Uh, so I got that. I need some for some small ones for the tank, because I know I want the destroyer tank. I did take this ship up against that refueling station, and I was able to take it out, because she's got laser turrets underneath, so it takes out shields. However, there's still so many... Uh, Ground troops for the Xerox on Omicron, it's the only planet that has that because it hasn't been reset. And I don't think I want to reset that. 
Like, I just want to run a POI one time and that's it. And move on to the next POI. If it's the same POI, a couple of the same POIs, that's fine. I just don't want to reset anything right now, because... Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll see you guys at the comms relay. Looks like I'm home free. Just hold on a little longer. Duh! So yeah, we're closing in on... Why is that not coming up on my radar? Should still be saved in my PDA. Relay doors. Sometimes they are. I know it's 1332 is the one to get into the core. I think I left it open. Okay, don't slam into it this time. Combs relay 451. Slam on in brakes. There we go. Do need to turn it around, or turn it to the side at least. Maybe I'll put some sentries on the side here. That would probably be a good idea. I like to have sentries on my my um, bay doors. It gives a little bit of security when you're trying to like take off with a with a vehicle or something. I did stop it. Yeah. You need to stop pointing me down every time I go into an elevator. Uh, whoa. Whoa, okay, okay, my character's a little drunk here, sorry guys. Uh, uh what side was it? I think it's this side. Yeah, okay. I think I left the door open. Yes, I did. And it's 1332 to get into the... To the core. Oh, that's already open. Whoops. Whoa. Okay, the AI core just slots right into the port, right? I had no idea. I depended on Ida so much to explain this crap to me. <laughs> the right place the core would fit. Ida's round and the hole is round. Wow. Okay, so the square goes in the square, the circle goes in the circle, the triangle goes in the triangle. Come on now. Please don't explode, please don't. <laughs> this character is such a wuss. Loading new intelligence profile, because apparently my character is not the intelligence one here. Sigma, isn't that a weapons manufacturer? System integrity at 80%. Harmful intelligence detected. Attempting to quarantine. Oh, jeez. I just, I just been deemed as the Omicron variant. Tracing system intrusion. Tracing external source failed. Remove external device. No. Connecting to Sigma. I don't want to remove it. She's in there apparently fucking shit up. <laughs> Sigma receptor not found. Help me, help me. I am helping you. Just chill. Damn. Okay, apparently she's killing it. Not, not. Nope. Uh, I don't want to. Wow. Okay. Rebooting system. Okay. Fahrenheit 451, huh? Are you sure you want to replace setup complete? Hello world, Ida. Ida, are you there? Set humor to 75%. What the... Yeah. Communications relay is superior to my surveillance... Surveillance satellite, excuse me, words are hard for me sometimes. I have remote access to the Polaris communication with the same information as the rudimentary Polcom AI. Polcom AI was a rudimentary submine of the. So we just kind of killed it. Wait, so we just killed another AI? 
that's how you want to think of it, then yes. Yeah, that's what I just said, so. Called self defense? Not really. Because we went into their house, they didn't come into ours. Yeah, see, exactly. Mystery Lake Hall ceased to be the house and became ours, which I promptly threw him out of. <laughs> Locked him away or something? Alright, can we, like. Yeah. It's dead, let's move on. I had initially planned to until the AI called for help, which was very worrying. Worries you how? Huh. Sigma is an uh, arms corporation. Well, at least, you know, on planet Earth. Again? Thanks, Ida. Yeah, I didn't do that. Paycheck. Uh, just keep it to yourself and get back here. So now I gotta go back to Omicron for this? Oops. I forgot I don't have a grab generator on here. Maybe that's what I can put in here. Yeah, I'll put a grab generator in there. Uh, oh. oh, great, that door's broken. Uh, so where are we going? Kinect Station. Oh, that's right, I gotta go to Kinect Station. Okay, well, that's 31 kilometers away. I guess I'll see you guys over at Kinect Station 62. Alrighty, we are coming up on Kinect Station 62. Uh, what's kind of... Try and get some decent parking this time. I keep holding down the freaking throttle button. I hate that. Okay, next comes she requesting permission to dock. Signed Bay. So on my way here to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, we got gravity! Okay, what is wrong with this? We got automatic doors. See what I'm saying? Like, sometimes they just cut out. It is easier, though, however, or faster, to use my jetpack. I always got my feet stuck on the carpet. We have gravity all around the ship now, so that's nice. Okay. And boop. A calm relay. Not full axes that would draw my attention from signal. Signal. Nope, not that side. Oh wait, there's yeah, right here. Tom's Chief's Mason. Isn't that that dude there? Oh no, he's way up top. Never mind. I remember. I'm gonna take my helmet off in here. Uh. Well, maybe one more. Oh, here we go. Let's talk to Com's Chief Mason. Hey, dude. There you are, kid. Bloody good job at that. That's right. No cost with a boost in efficiency on top. If you want a full-time job instead of contract work, you come to me. Call work. But I have a job already. 
that's to kill Xerax. You change your mind. Oh, I might. Can I get some money though? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm here for. Top of on top for the mission. That's what netted me a big bonus too, since it saved the company tens of thousands in optronics. Yeah, cash is fine. What did I get? 40,000 credits? Nice. Job's done. Looking for a permanent job. Okay. Now go get. Let's get go. Okay. My friend will get to live another day thanks to you. Got people depending on you too. You're right, kid. Thanks. 40,000. Yeah, there's this thing. Okay. Narrowly avoided with the transfer of a core into a Polaris communication relay that grants her access to the systems. Avoiding the scrutiny of Sigma, you've managed to gain access to tactical scans of mess. Lost ship lies another potential clue to the location of the remaining ECH fleet from a source. Proceed, please. Should I be worried? It's only a matter of time before something else. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before I gotta blow something else up. They have 451 and filtered out many relevant transmissions. This includes a number of pointers contracts that were intended for someone else if you're interested. Com frequency, relay 451. I wouldn't care about pissing in the law enforcement's pool, dude. Apparently the human player is the only ones that can do it. It's another matter that I... I though was... I, th I thought was best. After what I said, okay. Flagship of the fleet? I actually have a reforged edition of that. The Titan. Huh. The planet's moon. That's... well, there's two of them. Anyways, I'm gonna put my money in here. Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot of money because, you know... I bought... 30 of those? Can I buy more? No. Can I buy 8? No. Okay, 60,000. I think that... yeah, I can only buy 4. Ugh. Ooh, advanced upgrade kits. Don't really need them because I'm finding them. I do have two auto miner cores, so I think what I'm going to do now is do some off camera scouting. I want to be. Oop, that's info panel. And I wanted that. I think I want to go. Let's see, where the heck are we? And yeah, that way. Heck is that? Yeah, I want to go out to like this area. Maybe actually over here. I'm going to set up a base out here somewhere. Oh, that Xerox and Polaris are butt touching. 
So yeah, I'm gonna look out over here somewhere. I want to be close to Polaris territory because that's who we're being friends with. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I mean, I might just take over Omicron as well. Because if we look... Oh, I can't. Dang it. But there's only two POIs left that are Xerox. And, uh, oops. We are currently that close to getting it. So I just need to go get a little bit of Neo, a little bit of that stuff. A tiny bit of that. That's the problem. I only have 22 of them. Copper won't be a problem. This stuff won't be a problem. The only one is that. So I have to go make some money. So once I get the tank, um, or I might take over another planet in the area. Maybe a coup or something, but yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here, guys. So I want to thank you guys again for watching. All the amazing support you guys have been giving the channel and the series. I greatly appreciate it. So if you guys can continue to smash that like button and maybe duct tape that guy's mouth up there and make him shut up, that'd be greatly appreciated. And for anybody who's new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and kick that dude in the nuts. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all next time.